Hey there everybody, Jason here with another movie review. Today I'll be talking about If, the new family comedy from director John Krasinski. Now normally I'd talk spoilers, but since this is a family movie and I feel like more people should go out and see it, I won't be talking spoilers this time around. So that being said, let's just dive right into this, shall we? So the concept of IF was pretty interesting to me, a matchmaking agency for displaced imaginary friends kind of felt a little bit like Cartoon Network's Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, but with that, you know, matchmaker twist. And I thought it was really cool and really interesting, and this movie certainly delivers on that, but it really packs a punch, it's really heartfelt, and... It's a really good movie overall. A lot of that has to do with quite a few of the performances, namely Kaylee Fleming as the film's protagonist, B, and you've got John Krasinski as her father, Fiona Shaw as her grandmother, who is just fantastic, by the way. I absolutely love Fiona Shaw. Everything from Harry Potter to Andor to this, she's just truly fantastic. And then, of course, you have Ryan Reynolds playing the straight man against a lot of these really zany and wacky characters like Steve Carell's Blue, even though he's purple, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge's Blossom. You've also got a wonderful performance from Lou Gossett Jr. as an elderly teddy bear named Ernie. I didn't talk about it at the time, but... Lou Gossett Jr. was such a terrific actor. I was so devastated when he had passed away. And hearing his voice again in this movie was a real treat. And it just also kind of made me miss him as a performer. In everything he did, he just brought so much to every role, both on screen, you know, and in vocal performances such as this one. So it's just really nice that we have this posthumous performance from him as well as other performances to remember him by and he is sorely missed now there are a lot of other big name performers in this film you've got george clooney john stewart aquafina bradley cooper sam rockwell and just a host of other people it just feels to me though that while some of them do stand out it's just kind of a who's who of people in the movie. Yeah, you've got your big names, and that's certainly fun for the adults to kind of go, oh, that's George Clooney. Oh, that's Sam Rockwell. Oh, that's Bradley Cooper. That's Emily Blunt. That's, you know, different actors of that caliber. But I feel like they're such small, minimal roles that you don't really need those big names. It's not really a bad thing. I just feel like Maybe it wasn't the best approach because it almost feels like a waste of some of these talents, but it is nice to hear a lot of those voices. Uh, the story itself is pretty optimistic and pretty hopeful. It's a film about finding that spark of imagination at a time in your life when it's kind of gone and almost bringing you back to that idea of being a kid again and the message hits you pretty hard. I got pretty emotional a few times throughout the movie. And in that respect, it just really works and it's really powerful. If you're looking for a feel-good movie, this is the movie for you. Another thing that's really great about this movie is the visuals. John Krasinski delivers some of the most bright, sparkling, and imaginative visuals that I've seen in a film in a long time other than animation. It's just so awe-inspiring and beautiful to watch. John Krasinski just really has a good eye for what he wants, and this film is a really good demonstration of that. Overall, I really enjoyed If. The visuals are beautiful. The story is really powerful. The character performances are silly, fun, and full of heart. You don't really need a lot of the big names, but it doesn't really take anything away from the movie. And there are a lot of fun characters. It's a very optimistic movie in a cynical world, and it's the kind of movie that we need right now 
It's a really good movie. I definitely recommend that you go see it. But that is just my opinion. Let me know what you thought of If down in the comments if you want to go see it. Who was your favorite character? What was your favorite part? I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. You want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get updates on all my future videos. You can also follow my social media pages. Links down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.